Hi, this is Hezu Neutral. I was requested to do a tutorial on how I drew Blue Diamond's pearl picture, so I'm going to attempt to do one similar to it. I usually don't do tutorials since my computer slows down to a halt <laughs> when I tried recording. Uh, it would make drawing during the recording impossible, but it appears to be working this time around, so let's give this a go. There's a sketch prototype of Garnet that I haven't completed yet. Anyway, a new file, width 800 pixels by 1000 pixels. Uh, let's call this the red layer. Uh, it's basically my sketch layer. I always sketch in red. All the other colors bug me when I line over them. Even on a faded black or gray, it just makes it really hard to see my sketch layer when I'm lining. Red always just works better for me, so let's sketch this out. When I'm thinking of the blue pearl, she seems like the shy type, and I think of her blue diamond master with her long dark blue cloak. Uh, so let's have blue pearl hide within her master's cloak. I'll also have an eye pop out from under her hair too, so we can see a bit more of her facial personality. She almost looks like Lapis, very beautiful. Okay, so save that. Now let's do a new layer, but that, uh, yeah, put that under the red sketch layer. I use gray as a background whenever I color. The red helps me see my line layer and the gray lets me see the colors better than a white background for some odd reason. Just helps the color stand out. I like them layers, people. Let's avoid future mistakes. Okay, new layer. First base layer of color we will work with is the skin layer. skin layer. Let's take a quick reference look at Blue Pearl here to check the colors of her skin. Uh, it's near the teal section on the spectrum. Let's see. Uh, I think that's good. Alright, so you see the selection tools here? This is basically the entire main course right here. The main tool we're going to be using for this whole thing. Uh, these tools are what makes my art happen, pretty much. <laughs> I use these to shade and tint my art, which is the most crucial part of what makes art unique from each other. Alright, let's use the polygonal lasso first. This is great for any long sticks like arms or legs. Uh, things that are hard to select in a straight line. Uh, do your best to make as many points as possible when selecting so it doesn't look so pointy in shape. Uh, let's go back briefly to the normal lasso selection tool for the neck, so that's more curvy. Back to polygonal, let's quickly go through the rest of the body. That hand there is a little too pointy at the edge, so let's use the normal lasso to smooth it out. Make the wrist chunkier so she's not a complete stick too. Dun, dun, dun. There's the skin layer. Uh, actually, let's smooth out these elbows a little more. Okay, lock that skin layer and let's do a new layer. The clothing layer for her little ballet suit. Back to our reference for color. Testing out the color. Mm -hmm. Okay, that looks good. Testing out the color. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Let's go back to our polygonal tool, uh, select the area and fill it in, smooth it out, basically wash, rinse, repeat for most of this picture. Alright, let's take a step back, see how that looks, pretty good so far. Next step, lock the layer, the new layer for the pearl. Now I'd use the oval tool on all, but it's just not the angle I want, so let's just go with the normal lasso and keep trying until I can make an ovalish shape to smooth it out. Alright, that looks good, but uh, let's just move it up slightly. Looks good, all good. Alright, lock, new layer, and let's do hair now. Hair has always been the most fun for me. It's wavy and curling, it flows and shines like a river. It's always the greatest part of my drawings, I personally think. Let's make sure not to go over her nose. Be sure to save your art once you complete each new layer, just in case. 
Photoshop is so great because it has a new feature where it auto saves every few minutes. So if your computer crashes or loses power, you can open up Photoshop and it should pop up with a recovery save of the file. It's such a lifesaver. Photoshop probably saved me about six pictures of mine. That's well over 12 hours of work for some of them. It's wonderful. All right, let's move on to the skirt next. Use the polygonal lasso for it. Uh, be mindful that we are going to use an airbrush to color this. Make sure the opacity is at least less than 50%. Uh, I'm going to use 38% here. Select a pretty cyan and throw in a little white at the top there. Be mindful of where the light in the picture is. And the light is going to be coming from somewhat top middle-ish left of this picture. Okay. Uh, new layer. Let's do the top layer, the front cloak of blue diamonds. Make sure opacity is back up to 100% to fill this in. New layer for the cloak. Let's get a dark blue color here for it. Uh, now use the normal lasso to create frilly swivels over blue pearl to give it a cloth texture to it. Make sure it's curvy and smooth, no jagged lines. All right, make a new layer for the very back above the gray background. Make it darker blue. Her right hand there is clutching the cloak, so her thumb sticks out of it. So select the thumb line and delete it from the cloak front layer. Next up, on to the eye and facial details. Let's go ahead and make a new layer for that in case we mess up, so we won't have to worry about the skin layer. Use a lasso to select the mouth, teeth, color that in, same for the eye. Now let's make the eyelashes low, giving her a sleepy look. Uh, let's make her eye a pretty turquoise, but lighten it up a little. We want to go for a silver blue color scheme for her. Alright, almost halfway through this now. Great job. All the coloring's complete, so let's add some shades and tints. Use the selection wand to select the pearl. Then use the airbrush tool at 27% opacity to give the pearl some fake depth to it. Uh, add some dark blue, some cyan turquoise, pinch of pink, then lighten it out again with white. Deselect the pearl and use the normal lasso to make a shiny light circle on the outskirts of the pearl. Uh, make a shiny bent line for it as well, more fake depth for it. Still using the low opacity, deselect the pearl, then just use airbrush over it to smooth out the colors. See how pretty that is. Alright, let's make the rest of her look cool. I'm basically going to be using the airbrush tool in 27% opacity for the rest of this drawing. Uh, let's see, for the hair, use the selection wand to select the hair layer. Then use the airbrush at 27% opacity still to use a baby blue and dark blue at the tips of the hair. Uh, then you use a light turquoise for the top of the hair. Let's work with the cloth. Select the cloth with the wand, then use a dark blue to shade it in. Use a white at the left tips of the cloth to lighten it. Use the free lasso to add some of the white thickness at the edges, then smooth it out more. Select the skin layer, then use the airbrush to shade it again. Uh, use a darker shade under the hair and a few other places. Lighten certain portions of the skin so it sticks out more in depth, like the hand and the elbows. Now let's go in, select with the lasso and shade in the crooks of the neck and bony structure of the shoulders, along with her nose, lips, and chin. Use the lasso for a thicker, more defined shade under the hair. Uh, lighten up the nose a little too so it sticks out more. Use it on the hand as well. Let's add a fingernail of pure white against blue skin. That's pretty. Okay, do a little more shading. Let's edit the skirt, but let's make a new layer on the skirt shade just in case I don't like it. Uh, it's just easier to edit, you know? Use the free lasso to select lines into the dress to give it a clothing pattern. Um, yeah, it comes off a little too strong, so change the opacity on that layer to 53%. Okay, new layer for the hair. Favorite part to work with. Remember, I'm still using the airbrush at 27% opacity. Uh, just start selecting pieces of the hair and shade it in. 
make little swivel spikes up and down with a few centimeters of space in between them to give it a flowing wave look. Darken some of the background hair, then use the lasso to select a portion of the hair that will become the shadow of Blue Diamond's cloak. Uh, let's go back in and add some tints to this. Use light blue and white to recreate that flowing wave pattern over the shades on the hair. Then deselect everything and just use the airbrush to smoothen out the hair, adding more to that beautiful shine. Alright, zoom into the eye and use the selection tool to add in more squiggles and shades. Uh, remember the pupil and the shiny reflection in her eyes too. Almost done! Select Blue Diamond's front cape layer and shade around it. Use the lasso tool for more depth and to give the frilly looks of the cloak a better flow. Uh, just keep shading around it. Select part of the cloak where her hands should be gripping it, shading that in as well. Use the free lasso one more time to select portions of the cloak to tint with a lighter shade of blue. And of course, make sure to sign your name. I don't like making my signature take up the whole focus on the picture, so I usually lower the opacity on my name, but just a little so you can still tell it's there. Uh, let's select the back of the cloak and shade it with some black for more emphasis. Okay, last minute touches, a little shine to her pearl and on her skin. Let's add a bit of purple to the bottom of her picture for her dress, you know. Lower the opacity to 14% when doing that so it's not as strong. Select for more cloak shading. Add some lines to her mouth and headline. And I think I'm done. There's Blue Pearl. And I'll call this uh, Shrouded in Blue. This was about 56, 57 minutes long. So this picture all in all took me pretty much one hour to complete. Okay, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, programs, song, and art details in the description below. Uh, comment if you have any questions or would like to see more tutorials in the future. Thank you!